In this video, I'm going to go through two more examples of proof by contradiction. So in this first one, we're going to prove there exists no integers a and b for which 5a plus 15b is equal to 1. OK, so the first thing that we need to do in a proof by contradiction is assume the opposite. OK, let us assume. So assume there exists uh, A and B, oh, A and B, for which 5A plus 15B is equal to 1. Now, if that's true, then we could divide all the way through by 5, OK? So we get A plus 3B is equal to 1 fifth. However, because A and B Oh, I've done it again. A and B are integers. A plus 3B must also be an integer. But here we're saying it has to be equal to one fifth. So this implies that there is a contradiction. And so because there is a contradiction, the original assumption that we made here must be false. Therefore, um, if um, therefore, sorry, there exists no integers a and b uh, for which five a plus fifteen b equals one. So that's quite. A nice simple one okay so let's have a look at number two right so number two is saying that prove that for all integers n n cubed plus 5 is odd uh, if n cubed plus 5 is odd then n is even OK, so we're going to assume that n cubed plus 5 is odd and n is odd. OK, so assume that uh, both n cubed plus 5 and n is odd. OK, now... What would that mean? Well, that would mean uh, that we could write n cubed plus 5 as some odd number, let's say uh, 2m plus 1. And we could also say that because n is odd, we could write n as some... T uh, 2 times some other number, let's say p plus 1. OK, I can't use n again. So if this is the case, I could substitute n is 2p plus 1 into that. And I get 2p plus 1 cubed plus 5 is equal to 2m plus 1. Now, I'm going to have to expand that 2p plus 1 cubed, OK? So I'm going to have uh, 2p plus 1 times by 4p squared plus 4p plus 1 plus the 5 is equal to 2m plus 1. OK? So then um, I can expand that out. So I'm going to get 8p cubed. I'm going to get 2p times 4p, so 8p squared, plus another 4p squared, so 12p squared. I've got uh, the 2p times the 1, and the 1 times the 4p, so another 6p. And then I've got 1 times 1 is 1, uh, plus the 5 is 2m plus 1. Okay. 
So then, what can I do? Well, I can add the 1 and the 5 together. Okay. And then, what am I saying? Well, this left-hand side, if I factor out a 2, then I get this. Now this, because 2 is a factor, must be even. That whole thing. But this number over here, well, that's odd. So that would mean that there would have to be some number which is both even and odd in this case, which clearly isn't true. Okay, so that is where our contradiction comes about. So because that there is a contradiction here, our original assumption must be false. And so that would mean that if n cubed plus 5 is odd, n must be even. Okay, and that uh, proves the original statement.